Hi, YouTube family. I tried 10 concealers from the drugstore and this is what I found out. That's the title of our video today. And I'm going to go through these so that you guys can know what I found that works on my aging dry skin. And the ones that I found that I liked a lot, the ones that I found that I didn't like so much. And we're gonna get right into that. But first, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe by clicking the red button below. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. Actually, that's for all of you guys so that you can be notified of any future videos that I'm having. And if you do like these kinds of videos where I try a lot of a certain product, actually the next one that I am going to be doing is probably blushes. So the foundations will come and all of those will eventually come. But I wanted to start off with concealers because this is where my problem comes in. I have my biggest concerns are right around my eyes with aging and those heavy wrinkles that I have gotten. And yes, I can say that they're wrinkles. I realize that I, you know, my laugh lines are, my expression lines are really deep and no, I've never had any procedures or anything done on them. So this is what I have to work with. And so I need a concealer that performs on the dry skin that's under there, but won't crease and get into the fine lines that are there. So I'm going to start with the ones that I didn't like and then we're going to work up to the ones that I really liked. The first one that I really just didn't care for was the Glamouflage from Hard Candy. This is a really thin formula. I find that I need a little bit thicker formula because I do have very, very dark circles. And so I find that I need a little bit better formula for coverage. Now, if all you need is a little bit of touch up or you have a very oily face or, you know, some people really do have, you know, this area really does do a lot of sweating in the or whatever this might work for you but for me it just didn't perform it didn't cover i i would say that's a hard pass for anybody I also do have the new one from the rimmel the stay matte collection and this one is i think it's on not only on their website but i also think it's at walmart i haven't seen it anywhere else yet this one was very drying without the coverage that i needed as well now keep in mind again i like a very full coverage as a matter of fact i even use a color corrector down there and I have to use that and I would test this so I did color corrector on one side and then you know just the regular one without anything on the other side and this one really it was so drying and it did not cover and it it was really not great for me it did not perform well on me and then the one that I really this is probably the most drying product that I have tried in a very long time besides besides Tarte Shape Tape, and that is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. This one, they're like Toddy, this is her favorite drugstore concealer. I just found that I could not make this work on my aging eyes. It was so, so, so dry. I am not kidding, it was super dry. Now today on my eyes, I do have the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This one is actually in the color Medium Peach, and I'm gonna show it to you guys today. It was even too light for you know my skin almost. Now it, this one covers like no other. I didn't set it down with any powder. And I have been finding lately and trying really hard to make those lines less noticeable and less dryness under my eyes. I've been using as little if no powder at all. This one works in really fast. And what happens is once you put it on, you really need to work with it quickly or it's gonna set down and you're gonna um, just have the lines and you're not gonna be able to blur it out at all. This but one I would say, if you guys have ever tried not only the Tarte Shape Tape, but also the Born This Way Full Cover Concealer, this is like a marriage of those two. Too. So it's still very drying on that side and I just I'm even though I'm wearing it today I can already look at it and I can already see that it's going to by the end of the day I'm gonna look very very dry with it. So that one for me was too drying even still. This is a new one from Revlon. This is their new candid concealer. This one I actually did like a lot. I didn't feel like it was terribly drying. It had really good coverage on it, but this isn't a full coverage either. This is probably more along the lines of a medium coverage and it's buildable. I did like that about it as well. It's quite buildable. So I do like this one and I do like that it's buildable, but I did have to set this one with a powder. So it's a little bit more along the creamy side. So this one for me works really well because I need it to have a little bit more creaminess under there and not be so drying. So lasted a long time on my eyes. That's the nice thing about this one, but the e.l.f. one lasted a long time too. Now, a lot of these are claiming that they have 12 hour wear or whatever. 
I don't know, you guys. I have such a hard time with those claims that go anything over like six hours because on me, after six hours, I'm going to look in the mirror and I'm going to want to touch up. And so I don't, I don't want to just say, yes, this is going to last you all day and this is going to be the one because everybody's so different. Not everybody has things that last. Not everything's that, not everybody have things that don't last. So I guess it just depends on what your experience is in the past. This one is from Milani and I don't have the right color in this. This is actually a really good color when I am self tanning. This one is light vanilla. This one is really nice. This is probably one of my favorites out of all of them that I've tried. I really like how creamy this is. I like how well it goes on. I like the coverage in it. I like how long it lasted. I liked everything about it. It didn't accentuate my fine lines any more than any other concealer that I've ever tried ever would. So this is one of my favorites out of the 10 that I tried. The Makeup Revolution, this is the Conceal and Define. They were trying to dupe Tarte Shape Tape Fortunately, they didn't, but I find that this one is still pretty drying compared to the Tarte Shape Tape. It's nothing as dry as that, but again, if you're an aging woman that has those concerns about there being your, your under eyes being too dry, I would say that this is probably one that is probably too dry for you. But as far as its staying power, its staying power was really good. Coverage is fantastic on it. It's like the Tarte Shape Tape. As I'm saying the Tarte Shape Tape over and again because that's what so many people compare everything to. Um, and so many people have tried it. So I'm kind of, you know, making a comparison with that. Um, You're going to find that in this specific video, I did not test the Maybelline Age Rewind. That concealer just doesn't work for me. And I know that that is the holy grail for so many people. And I wanted it to work in the past. I've tried for it to work in the past. It just has not. So that concealer is one that I just can't get on board with. So if you're wondering why that's not here, that's the reason. The next one that I tried was the Infallible Full Wear from L'Oreal. This one, um, again, I don't know why everybody's doing this huge doe foot applicator anymore. Do you guys know what's going on with that? These all had pretty huge doe foot applicators, except for the two that I didn't like. Um, and this one on from Hard Candy was just a squeeze tube. But this one from L'Oreal, again, had the great coverage to it. What I did with this one is I put it on and then I just tapped it out a little bit, let it set for just like 30 seconds and then went back in and tapped it out again and I didn't have to set this again. Okay, this one I'm still kind of on the fence about. I love the coverage of it and I also like the way that it set down without a powder. I like that a lot but these ones that set down without a powder you are going to find that they are on a little bit more on the dry side than on the moist side. That's good for summertime because in the summertime when you, there is a lot of humidity outside and we do begin to get really warm, we do get that creasing. And that's the problem with looking for a very emollient one under there. I have liked this one. I'm going to just go out on a limb and tell you I have liked this one, but I know that this one is not going to be for everybody. So take that or leave it for what it's worth there. Now, what the two that I have last are my most hydrating ones. This one is the lasting finish from Rimmel, the breathable one. And I, I love this one, you guys. Um, I have had this one for quite a while and I think this is my second tube of it. I really like the coverage on this one, you guys, but this one is so much more hydrating. You can feel the hydration in it. So this one is going to have to be set down a hundred percent with a powder. Um, long lasting. I did like that. It does say that it's the 25 hour one. Do I feel like it's 25 hours? I never feel like anything's 24 hours, but you guys get the situation that I'm talking about. This one is much more creamy. It's much more on the side of it being, um, going to be able to give you a lot of, um, moisture on those under eyes without, you know, having that crepey look after you're done using it. And the same thing on the flower light illusion concealer. This one I reach for a ton, but I probably reach for the Rimmel one more. I like this one because it's a little bit more brightening than all of the others. And I love that this one has a little bit more hydration to it too. So let me tell you what my favorite thing to do is. I love mixing the Milani with the Rimmel. 
and it just seems to be a really good combination. So I, I don't necessarily wait. I like put a dot on each side and then a dot on each side with the other one. And I just find that that is really a beautiful look because you get a little bit of the hydration with a ton of the coverage from the Milani one. And it seems to last a long, long time. Some days I find that I need to powder it. Some days I find that I'm okay if I just, you know, let it sit down and then go ahead and blend it out after a minute. I always use my fingers to blend any of my concealers out. I never ever use anything other than my fingers because I find that the warmth in my fingers really helps to um, meld it with my skin under my eyes. Just kind of an FYI, I don't even know why I said that. Now, if you're gonna pick a powder to go on top of anything like this, I would pick a really, really lightweight powder. For me, this powder right here, which is the Flower Satin Powder in the Big Tub, this has been working really good to set my under eyes because it has just a tiny bit of the light reflecting properties to it without being shiny. And then I also make sure that I use a really, really light, fluffy brush. This was the one I just got from my haul from Ulta this time. And I really like setting my under eyes with that. So that's all of them, you guys. If you have any questions about any of them, let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys have any drugstore concealers that you absolutely love? Now, total disclaimer right here, right now, you guys. There is not one concealer on the market, whether it is high-end luxury or drugstore, that I am 100% in love with because of how crepey my under eyes are and how my expression lines are. I mean, when I smile, my eyes have a ton of wrinkles under there. So that's what happens as we age. I just find that I try to work with it as best I can and just try to be happy with what I've got. I hope that you did enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. That is everything for today. I love you guys very much and I will see you guys all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.